Simon here from Simon Says Cycling. Today we're going to talk about nutrition for cycling. So much these days is about the latest trends. There's the keto trend, there's the this trend, the that trend. And we get confused. And a lot of times people categorize things black or white. They don't see that they often overlap. So here are my thoughts on nutrition for cycling and specifically endurance cycling. The first thing I always look at is what is the energy demands of my training or my racing. So for example, if I'm going out for an easy ride or a recovery ride, I know I'm going to be burning more fat as fuel. And I know I don't need a lot of sugars, a lot of quick burn type energy for those kind of rides. So I'll often do those at a fasted state or maybe with a little bit more protein and fat or some slow carbs. But if I have a very hard VO2 session, or an intense race, that's when I want to add those sugars, that's when I want to add the goose, that's when I need that quick burn. A pro rider who races six hours can't take gels from the beginning to the end, that's just going to mess up your stomach. If you look at what the pros eat, you'll be surprised that a lot of times they're just eating regular food, they're not eating all these latest sports drinks and goose and so on, they're eating ham sandwich, pastries, croissants, rice cakes, they're eating real food during their ride and it's towards the end that they start adding those quick sugars, the goose, even a Coca-Cola they'll take in the last 30 minutes of a race sometimes. So that's where they add the quick sugars is towards the end but you can't keep that going all the way through because that's going to create a lot of stomach issues as well as you have to keep taking that all the time, those quick sugars. So my main tip for you guys is instead of getting hung up on I need to eat this way, I need to eat that way. Think about what are the energy demands of your body for that particular workout. If it's higher intensity, you're going to need more sugars. You're going to need that to have your best workout. So that's when you want to have the sports drink. That's when you want to have the energy bar and the goo. Is when you're going to do those very hard VO2 intervals or that training race. On the other hand, if you're going for a steady endurance ride, that's where you want to have more food. You want to eat maybe rice maybe avocado and toast and egg before you ride and that's where you can afford to eat more regular food and possibly towards the end you might have a bit of the quick sugars to get you through that final hour or two. So think about the demands of your training, think about your nutrition and that's how you plan your sports nutrition. There's not one way of eating that's going to work for every type of workout. So that's my main tip for you guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave a comment, please share what works for you, what do you find has worked best for your performance. Thanks for watching.